And I, I just won't look at this. All <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we're here with Stefan from Gnosis. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit actually about uh, the inception and how it got started and then you could just introduce the project a bit. That would be great. Sure, yeah. So I'm Stefan George. I'm CTO of Gnosis. And actually, we have been working on prediction markets for already five years, so even before Ethereum existed. And yeah, so basically, we, we discovered Bitcoin in 2013 and we thought it's a really great technology. And then we have, we are both, like me and my co founder, are both computer scientists and have entrepreneurial spirit. So we just try to analyze the market and try to find something that's missing on the market that could be a good use case for Bitcoin. And yeah, we, we both knew uh, a platform called Betfair, which allows peer to peer betting. Uh, which uh, basically allows the market to decide on odds for sports betting. And yeah, we thought that's a great use case also for Bitcoin because then you, know, you could use Bitcoin as a currency uh, to participate in those markets. And that's what we started with. At that time, we didn't even know uh, the term prediction market. We just knew about the general concept of having markets decide on the, uh, on, on the prices for different outcomes. But then we came to realize that actually there's a lot more you can do with this other than sports betting. Uh, and that's when we discovered at the same time also Ethereum. Uh, and we realized Ethereum has a much more interesting infrastructure for us because it allows us to implement all the required logic within the blockchain itself. So we are not custodian anymore. And that's when we started Gnosis at the beginning of 2015 as part of Consensus. And then last year, um, we were able to spin off from Consensus and now Gnosis is its own company. Uh, we have now 50 uh, employees and yeah, uh, it allows us also to organize conferences like this year, DEPCON, uh, here in Berlin. Awesome, yeah. Uh, as organizers of DAPCON, um, I guess, like, what were you most excited about bringing to DAPCON this year in terms of, I guess, a theme or particular kind of builders that you wanted to focus on and projects you wanted to focus on? Yeah, I think for us, uh, the for us, it was really important to be make actually create an actual developer conference. That's why we have also a bigger focus on actual workshops. So there is a, a track dedicated to workshops, which is, which is really hands-on. You can bring your computer, and you can uh, like in those workshops you hack something. Uh, some workshops are about smart contract security, others are about Truffle, uh, Embark, we got everything covered. Um, and at the same time, we also have invited experts to all different fields where there are still open issues. So this includes uh, scalability, this includes governance, this includes identity and wallets. And I think it's important that you get together um, with the leading experts to discuss in person. It's always a lot more efficient. and. It helped us to get one step closer to actual solutions. That's amazing. Yeah, it's been really great here. I've been I've been learning a ton. I have a background as a developer, so this is great for me. Uh, lots of brilliant minds here from the space. Um, great people to talk to. So, what's uh, what about you you yourself as a person? Like, are you originally from Berlin? And is this uh, is this like this is obviously where Gnosis kind of started um, and is based now? But are you originally from Berlin? I am not from Berlin. I'm from the west part of Germany. I'm from Cologne. Um, so Cologne's a very nice city. Uh, it's at the Rhine River. It has like one million uh, people, and um, yeah, it's a very nice city. I would say um, it's the only other city that's quite alike to Berlin in terms of uh, the vibe of the city, uh, the way how like the mood, <laughs> and uh, also in terms of like how many international uh, people there are. That also used to be, uh, like, Cologne is really close to Bonn, which used to be the capital uh, during sort of some, some t for some time. And uh, I guess, do you think that's what kind of gives it that vibe, or...? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so Bonn is a really small city. I think they, the reason why Bonn became the capital was because it was obvious it would never stay the capital. It was always obvious when there's reunification of Germany, Berlin would become the capital again. But this would have been more difficult if they make a bigger city the capital. So, what gives Berlin? Uh, what makes Berlin Berlin to you? Like, what? Uh, what do you think that it comes from? I think the great thing about Berlin is that there's a great mixture of art and entrepreneurial spirit. So you have a big scene of artists and uh, a lot of creative people are here. 
Berlin is still relatively cheap compared to other capitals, so it allows a mix of people to be here. It's not very gentrified yet. Uh, hopefully with blockchain it won't change. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's what people really like here. So why people are creative, like uh, it's very free, uh, everything is accepted. Um, and I think that's what people really like here and that's uh, what's missing in other parts. So you're based out of full mode and I know there's a lot of people there that are sort of, um, I guess you could call them kind of, I guess, OGs in the Berlin blockchain space like uh, Brian Fabian Crane and, and some others. What made you, uh, or sort of like, what was the inception of full node? Were, were you part of the process? Um, can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. So basically full node was started by Gnosis and Cosmos and the reason why we started is that we Basically, before that, we didn't have really an office. We were the first part of the of the Ethereum office that is here in Berlin. Then uh, we're growing too fast. We had to find another office, and then we thought, okay, we can get an office for ourselves. Or because there are lots of companies that are in the same position as us, we should actually try to find a bigger place where we can all work together. Because there are obviously synergies if you are working together in the same place. And yeah, so that's why we started talking to other projects and Cosmos was the first to say, okay, let's do this. Uh, and then we both together uh, founded Full Note. And now there are also other teams working there, like for example, Raiden uh, and many others. Yeah, and even some really, really some newer ones. So um, that's where I kind of got into some deep conversations with Johan from Parsec Labs. Um, I know the guys from Centrifuge prior to moving into Full Node. They're a great team as well, very strong. Um, and also uh, Fermo. I just did a one of these quick hallway style interviews with uh, Johannes. So um, great teams and it's. Is it, in, is it necessary to be a blockchain company to, to set up a desk in full mode? Yes, it is. That's the, pretty much the only requirement. And of course, there's a, if you want to have an actual office, there's a waiting list. And there we, well, we have to prioritize with Cosmos who would like to have first. It's a great culture over there. Uh, thank you so much, Stefan. Thanks for taking the time. No, thanks for inviting me. Appreciate it. Cool.